All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how to name your triangles, how to name them specifically when they are congruent to other triangles. So in this case, over here, we have triangle ABC and triangle DEF. And you can see, based on their markings, you could, if you wanted to, prove side, side, side um, that these two triangles are congruent. So we know they're congruent. What do we do from here? Well, in this particular case, it's very nice and easy because the, you know, letters are alphabetical order and, and that's what we like, right? But if we're going to think this through, we want angle A to be congruent to angle D, right? That would be true. Um, we could prove that using corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So we want A to be our first letter. D would then have to be our first letter of the second triangle, okay? We also have angle B congruent to angle E, so we want B is the second letter, E is the second letter, and then C is congruent to F, angle C, angle F, so C would be the last letter, F is the last letter over here. What we can also look at is the, the um, line segments as well, right? So line segment AB, should be congruent to line segment DE. And we can look up here and we can say, okay, AB right next to each other, DE also right next to each other, which is good. Okay, so this is kind of kind of what we're getting at. Okay. BC we can see is congruent to EF. And BC over here right next to is this in the same position as EF. So the position is really important when we're naming the triangles also. Now, as we know, we can also uh, look at, you know, angle measures. So let's assume for a moment that these two triangles are congruent, right? I'll just tell you that they are. Um, and because they're congruent, we know that they have these pairs of congruent angles. Okay, so I marked them all with colors this time. And we've got congruent angles. Sometimes it's not going to be alphabetical, right? And that's where we got to get really careful. Angle A over here, so angle B, A, C, is actually congruent to angle D, C, A. So this blue, this blue, that's what we're looking for. Which means that we need to have this A and this C in the same place, right? And it turns out angle A, B, C, okay, this orange one, is actually congruent to angle C, D, A. So we want the B and the D to be in the same place, right? And even you can see A, B, C is in the same position as C, D, A right? That's how this kind of stuff works. So we're going to look for angle measures. We're going to look for uh, angle congruency. We're going to look for line segment congruency. And that's our goal is to make sure that the naming matches up correctly. If I were to say over here, you know, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle uh, ACD, that would be inaccurate, right? Because then we're talking about, okay, well, ACD now, like the letters are in the wrong place. Um, so angle A, this angle A inside of this triangle, the blue one, is not congruent to the green angle A inside of the second triangle. And it's not going to work out, right? We do this for a bunch of reasons. Most of it is just to have consistency, but we are going to require that you do it. So if you don't understand this concept, let your instructor know. And if you do understand it, we're going to practice it some more now.